this is a videotape about the Walker Project. Uh, it's an experiment in reading computer animated figures that walk, uh, skip, jump, hop, and do various things with two legs. Um, it combines uh, some, some techniques from physically based modeling with uh, concepts from artificial life research. Uh, specifically, it uses a genetic algorithm to evolve sets of genes, and these genes uh, serve as parameters that control kicking behaviors. And these kicking behaviors uh, can be of a number of different varieties, creating different kind of characteristics. And here we see two different uh, walkers evolved independently with two different characteristics. Originally, I was going to use a complex human figure, but it figured why not simplify it in these early stages and just use two sticks. And for the breeding process, simply give it one goal to get to the food source uh, and also to stay upright. Um, so the first part of the genetic algorithm was an asexual reproduction process. And here's an illustration of that happening right here. Um, what we have is a parent and it gives birth to a number of offspring. Each offspring has a, is subject to some random mutation in its genes. Um, and if these genes create kicking behaviors that are more successful or allow it to stay aloft longer, then it outlives its parent, as in the case of this individual, and its gene set replaces the parent's gene set, and it begins to have offspring. Uh, using a Darwinian sort of natural selection process. The criterion is staying upright and getting to the food source. Now these ones aren't getting to the food source because they're basically trying to stay upright, but later on um, they get a little better at uh, staying upright. Not these individuals, but in a moment we'll see one that is uh, kicks in such a way that it stays upright. Here we go. So this one's uh, moving along, but it's not quite getting to the food source. Um, each walker is born with an innate hunger clock, which ticks away. If it doesn't get to the food soon enough, it will die of hunger, as we see here. Later on, um, the kicking behaviors uh, evolve to a state where they have better locomotion. So not only are they able to stay upright, but they can uh, move in the direction of their attraction which is the food source, and here it's partaking of virtual food, thereby um, resetting the hunger clock, and it can stay alive. Now later on, they, I developed a, a sexual reproduction genetic algorithm using a population. And this one is much better. It more quickly converges to uh, good gene sets. Here we're seeing uh, different offspring coming from coupled parents who have mated, they are uh, chosen randomly with a higher chance of uh, being among the successful, um, successful walkers. And this is in the early stages of the population version, but here's one that's doing a little better, um, but it's not quite getting to the food source, so it dies of hunger. Now the kicking parameters are simply um, spherical angular motions. There are about 13 or 14 genes, and um, I forgot how many, but a couple of them, or maybe about half of them, control these spherical angular motions. And on the left we see two, we see motions in two spherical coordinates controlled by two of the genes in one of the feet. And uh, in the middle is a, a graph of the walker as it's moving. Its feet are moving around in this kicking radius with the head serving as a pivot point. Now, later on, with more evolved walkers, I wrote a program that lets you move the walker with a leash. And this is interesting because uh, what this does is it allows a user to um, interact with one of the walkers and essentially feel its behaviors. Feel how it works by pulling it around and guiding it with the mouse cursor. Um, you, the user can be gentle uh, 
or it could be very rigorous and knock the thing over. Here, a walker has been knocked over, which is okay because the user can then pick it up by the head and put it back again, and the walker stays upright. Uh, this leash program is uh, allows you to look at different gene sets. Here's another walker that seems to have evolved uh, a very sort of rubbery kind of quality in the legs. Its rigidity parameter is low. And as a consequence of that, its other genes have evolved to compensate for that, and it has a very slow gait. Um, here is a walker whose legs are much more rigid, and its genes are such that it has a more hippity-hop kind of gait. Uh, so this leash program let you, lets you look at different gene sets. That's the stage of the walker program is at right now. The next thing to do is to give them knees. They need knees very badly. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the videotape.